Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be all about my wax collection. So I'm gonna go through a little tour. It's really not much of my wax warmers. I only have two that I'm currently using right now. I used to have one little mini warmer in my kitchen, but unfortunately at our new apartment, there is no spot for a mini warmer to plug into the wall. All the plugs are at the bottom, like at the floor level. And that is way too close for our dog <laughs> to be able to touch and interact with and burn himself on. So we're not using our mini warmer anymore, but I will run you through our two warmers and then I will run you through my wax collection. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. So first off, I have my warmer in the bedroom and this right here is the light from within warmer. It is actually discontinued. I think I bought it this time last year, like March of last year. And um, I really enjoy it. It's super simple, white with a black base very very simple and matches kind of any kind of decor style that i have and i definitely need to clean it so don't judge my uh wax dish i definitely need to clean that but i really like it and it performs amazing in my bedroom it's like just enough um it holds just enough wax and it is just enough of a scent throw to be in the bedroom and then in the kitchen i have my glisten warmer which is definitely my favorite because it is kind of like sparkly and it is like a gold ombre. It's really gorgeous. I adore that one. And as well, it works really, really awesome in the kind of kitchen living room area, really kind of um, scents the whole space and it smells amazing. So those are my two Scentsy warmers that I own. And now let's get into my wax. So as you can see right here, I have this bin that I actually store all of my wax in and I keep this in a closet and I just, continually put my wax in here and I'll come in here if I need to replace anything but this is all my wax and I figure this is a really good size bin to kind of hold everything and if my collection gets bigger than this bin then we have a problem so that's kind of why I enjoy this but I'm going to take all the wax bars out and kind of organize them and then I will show you. Okay so here is my whole wax collection laid out on the bed and as you can tell I have a lot of Scentsy bars more so than the other three brands right here. Honestly, I just haven't been to Walmart probably since the fall to buy wax melts from there. And that's pretty much the only other place that I consistently get wax from. So I will run through the other brands first and then we'll get into Scentsy. So first up here, I have a Country Candle Cheers wax melt. Um, I believe I got this two holidays ago. I really don't enjoy this scent. I'm just gonna probably finish it off in the bedroom, um, but that's this one. I have this one from the brand Swan Creek Candle Co. I actually bought this, if you guys know, um, the gas station in Texas called Bucky's. It's more of like a convenience store gas station, like mini mall kind of thing. And yeah, they had some wax melts there. So I got this one. It's roasted espresso. It really smells like awesome coffee and it's so super strong. So I've been working on this bar for like a year or so because it's just really, really strong. So I have to be in the mood for it, but it's amazing. And then the last one I have over here is Better Homes and Gardens Pumpkin and Chai. This is from the fall. And like I said, that was the last time that I was in Walmart to buy wax. So that is like my last Walmart wax. And then for Scentsy, I kind of ordered it by color. So up top, I have two crumb tops. I recently got this one in the Bring Back My Bar when they brought it back. And then I put it in my club. So it came in uh, in my club. I have a salted caramel toffee, which I'm probably saving for the fall, which is because it's a very fall like scent to me and then i have two vanilla bean butter creams i also have this one in my club as well and then i have a graham cracker crunch also in my club this is one of my absolute favorites just like a super simple sweet graham cracker scent and then i have two hazelnut lattes i definitely need to get a warmer to put in my home office and that way i can have a coffee scent going in the mornings i know my friend ashley nicole on youtube um she does a warmer in her kitchen in the mornings with a coffee scent which i think is so smart so i want to get another warmer or try to use my mini one in my office somehow we'll figure that out but i would love to use my coffee scents in there so i have two hazelnut lattes this is also in my in my club and then i have a vanilla cream which i haven't used yet and i hear great things about it so i need to use this one and then a coconut pumpkin pie. This one also just came back and bring back my bar and I fell in love with it. So this is my bar actually from my club and this is my bar that I have used and it's so, so yummy. I don't think it's like an exclusively fall scent, 
but I'm definitely gonna enjoy it so much more in the full time. And then down here I have pomegranate Prosecco, which I actually just started using in that glisten warmer in the kitchen and I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful kind of like fruity fresh scent. And then I have Pretty in Plaid and Peppermint Rush from Christmas time. I'm saving these for next Christmas. This one is kind of like a, um, like a holly berry scent um, with greenery. And then Peppermint Rush, I absolutely adore. It's just like a nice, simple peppermint scent. And then I have Christmas Cuddles, which I'm also saving for next Christmas time. It's just like a very cozy, warm scent. And then I have these two right here that I'm also saving. So I have Sticky Cinnamon Bun, which is just super, super cinnamony. It's so cinnamon heavy. I think I'm gonna try and mix this with like a pumpkin scent in the fall, and it's gonna be so yummy. And then I have a Perk Me Up, which is just another coffee scent that I have not used yet. And then down here, I have a cucumber lime. I'm really excited to pull this out when it starts getting hot here. It's still like 70s, so not quite yet. I have a Sleigh All Day, which is a really nice winter scent. I haven't used it yet, but I definitely plan on keeping it for next Christmas time. I have a Blueberry Rush here. This is one of Ryan's absolute favorites, so I'm saving this also for like the summertime. I feel like it's gonna be really perfect for those hot days in like the bedroom, I think. Blueberry Cheesecake. I recently picked this one up for the first time and tried it and I absolutely adored it. It honestly smelled like blueberry cake donuts. It smelled so good, so highly recommend that one. And then the last one I have is Boho, which I only have two cubes left. This is a really nice fruity scent for the bedroom and I'm really enjoying it. So in total, I have 25 wax bars, which I think is pretty reasonable. I definitely need to start using up some of my duplicate scents here, um, just because I feel like that's probably where I can start and then use up some of the ones that I don't have a lot of cubes left in. So um, I will actually like organize my little box over here with the ones that I want to use up first on top. So I will organize that and come back. Okay, I decided these are my five priority scents. So we have crumb top right here. We have... Vanilla Cream, which I definitely want to try. I don't really need to use this up. Country Candles Cheers, Coconut Pumpkin Pie, and Boho. Okay, so this is going to be my kind of to pick from pile, just so I know when I open it that this is going to be first. So that is everything for my wax collection. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of quick overview of... Um, my wax stash and let me know down below what wax you have been enjoying at this point in the season we're kind of going into spring but i know some people are still in colder weather so let me know what your favorite scent is right now and thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next one bye